Hello, my beautiful, darling Cancer babies. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. For those of you new to the channel, my name is Gina. This is a Cancerian only channel. Plus, watchers are welcome. If you would like to view other sign placements, you could visit my main channel, Tarot of Light. I do have a Virgo and Leo only channel. The links to those are below. Um, readings can be vice versa. Flip it, twist it, reverse it to whatever way fits you in your situation. Please be sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Click that notification bell so you know when my readings post and when the winners are announced i do a monthly giveaway on the channel i give away tarot cards oracle cards and crystals so hashtag what you would like to win in the comment section below if you don't mind winning any one of those things you could hashtag the word all okay um, if you would like to check out my tarot tutorial, the link is below. It's about two and a half hours long um, to book a reading. The link is below. And um, if you would like to check out my tarot and oracle decks, I currently have Spirit Shield Tarot and Oracle that are buy one, get one free. And then we have Royal Rose Tarot, which is 20% um, off. Uh, so guys, if you hear some banging and stuff in the back, I have people working on the house, so I apologize. Um, what are we grateful for today, my loves? I am grateful for my cancer babies, my YouTube family, my puppies are safe, happy, healthy, and doing well. I'm grateful for my health, wealth, peace, prosperity, abundance, and I'm just grateful to be here with you guys. <coughs> All right, my loves, let's get popping. Spirit, tell me about my cancer babies. Tell me about cancer, please. Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Tell me about Cancer, please. Okay, let's see. So we have Liar and we have Apology. Tell me about Cancer, please. We have Selfish. We have Shady. We've got Love. And then we've got Third Party. Give me one more on this Third Party. And abusive okay so cancer it looks to me like there was I'm sorry. it looks to me like there was someone from your past that lied or betrayed you in some way shape or form this person was selfish this person um, confused you this person made you feel this person constantly made you feel like they were hiding something, but you couldn't put your finger on what it was. This person was selfish, egotistical, greedy, self-absorbed. It was always about them. And I feel like cancer, they want to come back and apologize for this behavior. I feel that cancer... We've got love here. The one commitment family. My heart belongs to you. I'm so in love with you. You are perfect in every way. So Cancer, I feel like this person is coming towards you with an apology, telling you that you're the one, telling you that they want high levels of commitment with you, but there's a third party energy here that is extremely abusive. So I'm wondering if the reason why this person acts this way is due to abuse that they suffered at the hands of a third party, or maybe they left you and went towards a third party that was very abusive. Or, I mean, Cancer, it could be that this person had an ex or maybe a childhood where a third party abused this person was very, that, you know, very badly and hurt people hurt people, you know? So let's take a look at that and let's see what we have going on. Whoa. Oh, that was some ninja move. Did you see that? I was so focused on that Oracle card there that I couldn't. Okay. Spirit, tell me about Cancer, please. Tell me about Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Tell me about my Cancer babies, please. This is someone that's feeling ashamed over something. Six of Wands in the reverse and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. We've got the Hermit here, Virgo Energy, and the Eight of Swords. We've got the Queen of Cups and the Ace of Pentacles. Cancer, this could be someone that chose a third party over you and this third party embarrassed them. Your person could have, you know, expected to have a new beginning with this person or maybe even gave your this person money expecting, you know, 
this person to be with them or expecting this person to pay them back. Your person's embarrassed. This person was publicly humiliated by a third party here. And I feel now this person's really in their head. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I don't post because of the noise, you guys, you guys tell me we don't care about the noise. We just want you to post the reading. So I'm here posting the reading and I'm sorry about the noise. Okay. So Cancer, this is someone that's very stuck in their head, humiliated, and they're really looking at their actions in the past and they know that they, they owe you an apology. What I'm feeling here is initially this person isn't even expecting to reconcile with you. This person may think that you would not take them back. Um, this person is coming back to tell you, I'm sorry, my hair is annoying me. This person is coming back to tell you that, you know, you were the one they should have chosen you. They should have never chosen the side of the third party. But I feel like initially, I don't know why cancer. I feel like this is someone that's just trying to develop a friendship with you because they feel that they don't even deserve reconciliation with you. Does that make sense? Like they feel like they don't even deserve your forgiveness. So if they could at least come back and have your friendship, that would be like enough, you know, they just want to tell you how sorry they are. This is someone here humiliated your person. Tell me about cancer. We've got the five of wands and the four of cups. <clears throat> I feel like cancer, your person was put in competition or I feel like this third party was very nasty towards your person, like, you know, making your person feel less than using your person, like whatever your person may have put you through cancer, this third party put them through it. This third party made your person feel like they weren't enough, like they didn't make enough money or they weren't good looking enough. They made your person feel less than. Tell me about cancer, please. The seven of pentacles here and the world. Cancer, I feel like your person is wishing that they could go back in time and change their decision. They're learning a very serious lesson here. They learned a very serious lesson to look before you jump. Look before you jump. This person made a very hasty and rash decision towards a third party without knowing who this third party really was. This person is learning to look before they leap. Tell me about cancer, please. We've got the page of cups and we have the queen of pentacles. This is someone that may have told this third party, like, I love you. And this third party is more focused on their money, more focused on other things in their life. Um, it could even be that this third party was committed elsewhere and didn't tell your person. All I know is, is that this third party humiliated your person. This third party may have been in this for the money where they wanted money from your person. Tell me about three of pentacles, Ooh. three of pentacles and the five of swords. Cancer, this third party that your person got themselves involved with could be romantic, but it could also be a friend or a family member that this person put before you. Do you understand? And I feel like this person took, I don't know why I keep getting like this person took money from your person. Your person saw this third party as like either a friend or they saw this third party as someone st solid, reliable, like they really trusted this third party. And this third party with the five of swords turned around and was playing mind games the whole time and just walked away. We've got the Justice card and the Seven of Swords. Your person hurt you, chose the third party, and got instant karma. This is someone that got robbed financially or lied to or scammed or betrayed in some way. Yes, yeah, Seven of Wands and the Ace of Cups. This third party said, I don't love you. I don't love you. 
So Cancer, your person, when they were with you, again, there was either a friend, a family member, someone that they prioritized over you, or this could be an actual romantic third party, but this third party screwed your person over so bad and humiliated them. Tell me about the Six of Wands in the reverse and the Five of Cups. Your person is in their feelings. Queen of Swords here and the Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. This is someone saying, I'm not giving you the money back. I don't owe you anything. I don't want to go into business with you. I don't want to start a relationship with you. I don't love you. I don't feel anything for you. Um, this is someone that is saying, you know, I don't, I don't want you. With the Nine of Cups and the Seven of Cups, your person was dealing with somebody that was dealing with a lot of other people. A lot of other people. Like, let's just say, let's just say this is um, a woman, let's just say, okay? Let's say this is a woman. This is a woman that is dating multiple men and having multiple men spend money on them. Page of Wands, the Four of Cups, and the Three of Swords. This third party said, listen, I don't want you. You know, I'm looking for a King of Pentacles. I'm looking for someone with money, stability, status, and I feel like it blew your person's mind. It blew your person's mind to be told you're not good enough for me, especially cancer, because if this person was with you before, I know you fed this person's ego. I know your love made them feel like they were on top of the world. I know that you put this person on a pedestal. You know what I'm saying? And to go from being loved by a cancer to move towards somebody that's like, you ain't shit. I'm not, <laughs> no, I don't, I don't, I don't date people that drive Toyotas or I don't date people that drive this or I don't, you know, so your person just got really like rejected harshly. Tell me about the page of cups and the high priestess with the six of pentacles your person your person had a friend that told them this person is going to just use you for your money uh, someone did advise your person and say listen be careful with this person because they're just out for your money but your person didn't want to hear it your person was in love with this third party your person took that leap of faith and tried to you know manifest with this person but i don't i don't think that your person listened your person did not listen Tell me about the hermit here. We could be dealing with a Virgo, a Gemini, a Libra, a Leo. Tell me about the hermit and the chariot. We could be dealing with another Cancer. Tell me about the eight of swords and the eight of pentacles. Now that your person knows the truth about this third party, they're thinking about what action to take next. I feel like this person wants to work it out with you. I feel like they're realizing that, you know, they would they made the wrong choice, you know. They're realizing that um they they owe you an apology. Seven of Pentacles here. You may even have been the one cancer to tell this person that dude, that bitch just wants you for your bag. Someone here may have even said it. You know, they're just using you. Three of Wands and the Seven of Pentacles with the Nine of Swords and the World card. Now, Cancer, this person's missing you. Now they're wishing that they would have listened. They're wishing that they would have seen this person's true colors. This person is scared that they they'll never be able to get you back because they know after what they did they are totally and completely undeserving of your forgiveness tell me about the three of pentacles here and the king of pentacles your person was under the impression that they would be good enough for this third party. But I feel like with the Queen of Pentacles to the King of Pentacles and the Ten of Pentacles, this third party found someone that made more money than your person and went there. Six of Swords, Five of Swords, the Knight of Wands, and the Two of Cups, and the Eight of Cups. I feel like this third party turned from your person and said, nope, I'm going over there. 
And, and either you said it, Cancer, or other people told your person, this person is not going to stay with you. This person wants money. This person wants status. This person is not going to stay with you. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles here for Cancer and the Six of Cups. Cancer, this ex is coming back to apologize to you. This ex is going through a difficult time because they went from your love, you know, which had them up here on a pedestal to someone who made them feel like garbage, like trash. But at the end of the day, Cancer, that's how they made you feel. You see? That's how they made you feel. Tell me about the Queen of Cups and the Judgment card. Cancer, this person may come back asking for another, if you'll forgive them for another chance, if they could revive, you know. Uh, I, I feel like initially, Cancer, I have to be honest, it's more so I just miss having you in my life. I miss talking to you. I miss, you know, how are you? How have you been? Tell me about the Knight of Swords and the Devil. Cancer, this may, person may even tell you that, you know, they, they, they were chasing like, you know, someone that was just evil, toxic. They may tell you that they made a mistake. They moved too fast. They got caught up in lust, love. And with the two of swords, they, they realize here that they should have never done it. They're going to tell you that they made a mistake. I feel like with the Knight of Pentacles here, Cancer, and the King of Swords, what this person is going to do is they're going to be very calm with this reconciliation, okay? Um, they're not going to be all over you because deep down inside, this person truly doesn't believe that they are deserving of your forgiveness. What they would like to do is show you some form of stability, show you affection, show you um, how sorry they are. That is their plan, okay? Tell me about the Seven of Swords and the Hanged Man. Yeah, but Cancer, I feel like it's a lie. Do you understand? Like the, this person may kind of come towards you with this friendship, cool, calm, collected thing, but it's a lie. You know, you are going to find out that, you know, this person does want you know, they do want you back. They do. Yeah. See, you're going to find out that this person actually does still have feelings for you. You're going to find out that with the Hierophant here, the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups, that they are reconciling to be with you, but they're keeping it, you know, to themselves. They're keeping it a secret. With the Wheel of Fortune here, the Five of Pentacles and the Queen of Wands and the Ten of Swords, the way this person sees it is that you know, they don't deserve this miracle of your forgiveness after betraying you for this Queen of Wands energy. So it's going to be very soft when they come back. It's just going to be, you know, I just miss laughing with you. I miss hanging out with you. I, you know, this person, you, you may even wonder why, like, this person's really not making a move to reconcile because they feel like they're undeserving of it. What this person feels with the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups is that they want to go through a period of time of just showering you with their attention. And then maybe the truth will come out that, you know, but for right now, they're trying to control their emotions. They just don't feel that you're that they are deserving of your forgiveness. They're feeling ashamed. They're feeling humiliated and, and their self-worth and self-esteem is just on the floor. This person's having a very, um, they don't feel like they're worthy of you because of how they betrayed you. They don't feel like they're worthy of the third party because apparently, you know, they don't have enough money or they don't, they're, they're just not good enough apparently for the third party. And the third party was brutally honest. You know, the Queen of Swords can have very cutting words. This Queen of Swords may have said, are you insane? I don't date people like you. Like, you, you know, the Queen of Swords may have been very, like, you know, harsh and cutting with how they relayed, you know. To be honest with you, Cancer, I feel like this liar, shady, and selfish card, I don't feel like that's your person. I'm start of, I'm starting to kind of get the vibe that that is the vibe of the third party, that the third party gives off mixed signals. The third party is extremely vain, self-absorbed, egotistical. If you want me around, you need to understand it's all about me, never you. This third party maybe, you know, was two-faced, betrayed your person. They were very abusive. They were very abusive. Your person may have thought this person was the one with the Ace of Cups. 
And that's why when your person comes back around, they're not all over you to reconcile because this is someone that is still healing from, you know, the harshness and the abuse of the third party. And I feel like this person knows how much you love them and they feel like wrong or humiliated for choosing someone that didn't care about them over someone that loved them so much. So they're coming back towards you, Cancer, because they see you as this sweetheart of a person that never deserved to be hurt in that way. But they're also not making a full-blown move to reconcile because their self-esteem is on the floor right now. They don't feel that they deserve your forgiveness and they, they're just a mess. This person is just a mess. All right, so we're going to take it into the extended, Cancer. Let's see what will happen here. Are you going to reconcile with this person? Or, are you know, have, I don't know how you feel about this person coming back around. So let's see your, your perspective on this, how you're going to feel when this person comes back around. What will happen if you reconcile? What will happen if you let it go? Okay. <laughs> the link is in the extended um, and in the comment section below. I love you guys so much and I will see you there. Take care, my darlings.